Hello guys, this is TJ Plays Now, and today we are back with another tutorial on MC Diamond Fire. Now today I have for you how to do methods, and they're fairly complicated. So we are going to start this episode off with some simple stuff. I have blank code space, as you can see. Um, we're going to do on player join game event. This is just so that way we can do this to start loop. And so, in order to do what we are doing today, you're going to need to use the loop. Now, this this is how to do a method in MC Diamond Fire. If you have not heard of MCDiamondFire.com, the server where you can build your own plugin or mini game, sort of, I don't know. Go ahead and check out the link that is up here in the screen, yeah. And today we are learning how to do methods. Now methods are things that can be called at different spots in your code. They can be ran and the code be continued. So this is how you do methods today. So what we are going to need to do is go ahead and place down our loop block. If, if we place it, it's set to loop 20. We don't want to just click on it. We want to shift click on it. Shift right click. And set it to loop 10. That way the loop can go as fast as it can. So now we're going to do if variable equals. Now here is where fun stuff happens. So when you want oh, a method to be made, you're going to go ahead and grab a variable, a text, and then um the last thing we're going to grab is another variable and a number. Now, what we are going to call the first variable is method, and then I usually do method and then the name of the method. This is just going to be method1, and we're going to set this to running. Set the text to equal running. So, method1, running. Alright, so now we are going to place another if variable inside of it. And in this if variable, it must be an equals, and we are going to put percent default method one okay so this is basically the player that is calling the method so if we wanted to give a player an item and not all the players because the way that loop works is every time it gets looped it gives or it does all of this for all the players so we are setting this to be percent default method one, and we are going to go ahead and set this number to one. So when this equals one, or you can set it to true or whatever else, it really doesn't matter. So then we are going to go ahead and grab a set variable block and place two of those down inside of inside of here. And then go ahead and grab your method one and the books and your percent default method one and the numbers and for the books we're going to do stop and for the numbers we're going to go ahead and do zero okay so we're gonna go ahead and um make sure that this is just method one and stop now go ahead for the method or the percent player method one go ahead and set it to zero it really doesn't matter what it is but i like doing that so now what you're going to want to go ahead and do is do a code warp such as one it really doesn't matter what the number is and you can actually do this on say you have a huge thing already made but you need to do a method well you can go ahead and just add this right in so now we are going to call this um method oh we're going to do it to give players items give player players items i don't, I don't know so we're going to just I'm, I have common mythic only well mythic and up only has this has, have have this but slash comment and I'm going to call it give items but only mythic up has this like I just said and you probably don't have this but I use this to just differ, differentiate speak dif differentiate between my methods and my other stuff. So then now this code warp one comes from there. So this is whatever we want inside of the actual method. So such as a player action and 
give items, a player action, remove items, and a player action set armor. Now that will work just right. Now if we go ahead and make the items actually the right items, I'm just going to grab some random items because I don't feel like renaming things this episode. Um, we're going to grab a lot of these, and a lot of these, and a lot of these, and even more of these. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of items I just said. Now we are also going to just remove these items. I usually do black glass panes and then call them 1 through 9, but for now we're just doing this. And then we are going to give the player just a piece of redstone, I guess, and slash rename. Um, and for blood. Just, just, just for the looks. I don't know why. And also give the player a diamond helmet. That'll work. So, now we're going to want to call this method when the player joins the game, when the player dies, and when the player lastly dies by another player. So, we are going to go ahead and right here and then right there. So player events, player when a player dies, not by another player, and then when a player when a player dies by another player, player I guess that works. Okay. So now upon both of these happening, we are actually going to Well, player than death. This will work. So, we are going to go ahead and set two variables here. Okay, so, the first variable is actually going to be the second bit. That is percent default method. So, that means that the player is going to be set first. And then the actual method one. That is just in case, say, well, it really doesn't matter. Really. I just do it this way, so that way it doesn't do that if, but then you skip over it and come back. I don't know, I don't know. it'll work either way. But we're going to set this text to 1, or not the text, the, uh, the number, and then the text to running. And then go ahead and put the 1 in that chest, and then, um, we already have method 1 in there, so put a running inside of that chest and that calls this method now that'll happen upon us dying now when we join the game as well we want it to happen so we are going to go ahead and put one of the default players into there as well as then the actual method running okay good good so now when we go into mode play you will see that we got blood and whatever else that was Sorry about my chat being so big, it is mildly big. And, hey Taco. Okay, so you see we got the items, now, if I go into mode build real quick, and build the big pit or something, slash slash wand, and go ahead and just make it look really, 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 really far down. And, I hope this isn't dating like, where we spawn, because we would have to change that, right? change that. Start to move back. Ha, right in front of it. Now, upon jumping down this big hole and clicking respawn, well, we have the item again. Now, I'm pretty sure that is actually because uh, there is a player action that we need to go ahead and set, and that is lose items on deck. Now, if you go ahead and go to Splash Mode Play, you see we get the items just like we're supposed to. Go ahead and die, respawn, and we have the items again. Now, even though we lost the items, and yay, we sort of switched things around, but besides that, it does work. So, that is how you do methods. You can call this a bajillion times. You just have to put both of these set variables down. Now, I suggest doing it in this order, although it does not matter. And go ahead and leave a like if you want some more tutorials. 
I do hope you guys had a fun time watching, and we're already at 10 minutes. Woohoo, that's what I try for in these episodes. So, see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.